Hey Facebook, it's me Evangelist Shakira and I know I'm looking a mess but um, the Lord gave me a message and um, to give to Facebook and I felt it was very important so I jumped up and I came where it was a little bit of light at to make the video. Um, the word that the Lord gave me tonight was a little uh, more serious and um, it kind of hit home because this situation also happened to me but the word God gave me for his people tonight was protect his daughters. I'm going to say it to you one more time. The word God gave me tonight was protect his daughters. I want to start with the ladies. Ladies, um, um, a lot of you women, I'm talking to the mothers right now, a lot of the mothers, uh, they're dating these guys. They have uh, husbands, they have boyfriends, baby daddies, friend guys, whatever. You guys are dating these guys and your daughters are coming to you and telling you that your boyfriend, your husband, whoever, you know, they're touching on them. A lot of women don't want to accept the fact of that. So nine out of 10, they tell their daughters, a lot of women are doing this. They're telling their daughters, um, I don't want to hear none of that. Or they're ignoring, you know, what their daughters uh, said to them, playing like they didn't hear it, playing like they don't care, just pushing it to the back, you know, out of the way, hoping that it disappear because they're so in love with these men. God is saying, protect my daughter daughters. Ladies, if your daughters are coming to you, I don't care how old your daughters are. I don't care if your daughters are grown. If they're coming to you, you know, um, at the age of 14, 15, 13, some of them even seven, eight years old, if they're coming to you and telling you that these men are touching on them, you need to take it at heed. You need to do some investigating. You need to do what you got to do to protect these babies. You know why? Because they don't belong to you anyways. We are just stewards over our children because they really belong to God and the Lord told me to come and make this video and say to you all to protect his daughters you cannot just send your children these days over just any and everybody house to stay over because you want a club at night. You want to go out and party. You want to do this. You want to do that. So you're uh, sending them over to anybody's house, whoever can uh, babysit for you on that particular win uh, weekend when you want to go out to club. And I'm talking about the men, too. I'm talking to parents in general. You want to send your kids to any and everybody house, and they're being touched on at these people's house. They're being raped. They're being played with. They're being touched down in between their legs because you want to go out and have a drink or two. No. Be more mindful where you're sending your kids at, where you're sending your daughters at. Listen, this time, we're in a time of realness. The enemy is using any and everybody. I'm talking to uh, ladies. Listen, even if, even, even, even if it's their fathers. If these kids, if these babies, if your daughters are saying their father touched them, their brother, their uncle, their granddaddy, I don't care who it is. If they're saying these men are touching them, you need to do some investigating. Because it's happening. It's really happening. Fathers are touching their daughters. Uncles are touching their nieces. Brothers are touching their little sisters. It's going on. We have to do better as parents to protect these babies. The Lord said, protect my daughters. Because they don't belong to you. They belong to him. People, we have to do better with our parenting skills. And I'm saying we, even though my daughter has never had to experience it, I'm saying we because I'm not singling out nobody. But what I'm saying is, listen, you have to break the generational uh, curse at some point. Maybe your grandmother was raped before. Maybe your mother had been raped. Maybe you have been raped. Maybe it's a generational curse that needs to be broken. But listen, we have to do better to stop this. Keep your eye on your daughters. Keep your eye on your children, people. I'm begging you because the enemy is busy. That molestation spirit has been released on the earth and it's, it, it's, it's sad and it's crazy. It's happening within your family. It's happening right within your home, right within your household. Do whatever you got to do to protect God's daughters. I don't care if they're 14 and 15 years old. I don't care if they're 7 and 8 years old. I don't care how old they are. If they are coming to you telling you that these men are touching them just because you're in love with them. No, 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 no. Listen to what they got to say. Stop pushing it to the background. Pay attention to these men. Listen, I'm not saying all men, but some of these men carry that perversion spirit. Pay attention to these children. If they're saying their grandfathers, their fathers, their brothers, their uncles, um, your boyfriend, your husband is touching them. This spirit is real. 
I just want to, you know, before I let you go, I just want to cover uh, God's daughters right now. I want to cover everyone who has a daughter. I want to cover everyone who's been mol um, uh, molested, you know, in their past. Father God, right now in the name of Jesus, I come to you, Lord God, asking for protection, Lord God. Send your fighting angels to protect these babies right now in the name of Jesus. Father God, if there is a young lady somewhere in someone's household, Lord God, that's being raped by her father or her mother's boyfriend, Father God, that's being raped by a family member, Father God, and she's feeling alone. She's feeling like no one cares, Father God. I ask that you move in that situation and stop it right now in the name of Jesus. Father God, I pray that you're opening the eyes of the parents so they can see it going on, so they won't be blind to it, oh God. Lord God, I bind up that molestation spirit out of everyone's household right now in the name of Jesus. I plead the blood of Jesus over every young lady right now in the name of Jesus. Father God, anybody who's been raped in the past, I ask that you deal with their heart, Father God. Give them a heart of forgiveness in the midst of, Father God. Allow them to trust again. Let them know that not every man is like that, Father God. Lord God, this is really going on, Father God, and we know how serious it is. So right now, we ask you to move into every home and every household, Father God. We bind up that spirit and we plead the blood of Jesus over it. We bind up any generational curse right now in the name of Jesus of anyone who's been molested, Father God, and it's generational. Any grandmother who's been molested, any mother, any child, Father God, we stop it right now in the name of Jesus. Lord God, continue to protect your daughters, Father God. Lord God, you just be that strength, Father God. Lord God, I plead the blood of Jesus over them right now in Jesus' name. Amen. Listen, this is serious, and I'm going to leave you guys uh, uh, with this. God said protect his daughters. He said protect his daughters because the enemy has released that molestation spirit over the earth, and it's bad right now. So, you know, just be mindful of who you letting your daughters around. Be mindful of where you letting them stay because this is really going on right now. And um, remember, if my videos are blessing you, don't be afraid to hit share. Don't be afraid to tag others in the videos to bless them. You guys have have a good night because it's late, but you know when God gives me a word, I come and I bring it. God bless you all.